Time for business. The adoption of electric mobility in Kenya continues to accelerate with Chinese mobility company Radiance Africa today introducing new 52 electric vehicles into the ride hailing and logistics industry. The company cites Kenya's renewable energy and capacity favorable e-mobility tariff as key factors in its decision to enter the market, as Wamboi Wangoi tells us in the following report. The country's push towards electric mobility continues to accelerate, with the transport sector seeing new investments aimed at reducing carbon emissions. The latest player in the space is Rydens Africa, which has introduced 52 electric vehicles into the ride hailing and logistics industry. The vehicles are being leased under a structured model where drivers pay a deposit of 50,000 shillings and a daily fee of 2,400 shillings, except on Sundays and public holidays holidays. This pilot phase is expected to gauge market reception before possible expansion. The company says it's settled on the country as an investment destination thanks to abundant renewable energy resources and a favorable e-mobility tariff. Before this tariff was introduced, motorists paid significantly higher rates under the domestic or small commercial tariffs. Electric mobility tariff, maybe other tariff I would like to mention because this never used to be there. It is 16 shillings, but during the night they pay 8 shillings. It has a 50% discount. Data from the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum shows that the uptake of electric mobility has grown in folds over the last two years. The total number of registered electric vehicles reached 5,294 as of December 2024, compared to just 584 EVs in December of 2021. During the reporting period, electricity consumption from e-mobility reached 1.8 gigawatt hours, marking over 480 percent increase as compared to the same period in the previous financial year. Kenya, like many other countries, is pushing for electric mobility with a goal of having 5% of all registered vehicles be electric by 2030 as part of efforts to lower 